what you Lux Remaster. You may be thinking, that looks like a full-on remake. We had the same thought, so we spoke with three key staff to get to the bottom of this deluxe remaster. We began our investigation with director Ryosuke Murai. Well, actually, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to call this game a remake considering the work we put into it. Before we could even ask a question, Murai was giving us the inside scoop about the game. The first thing you'll notice is the improved graphics. The new specs allow the game to run at 4K 60fps. We've also made quite a few quality of life improvements, like the ability to move while aiming, as well as other adjustments to make controlling Frank more intuitive. Thanks to popular demand, we've added an autosave feature and fine-tuned the user interface. The game will be fully voiced in nine languages, with text in 14, giving more players around the world a chance to enjoy characters' dialogue. We've also made some improvements to NPC behavior that we hope will make surviving the zombie apocalypse with all the colorful characters that much more enjoyable. That sounds like a complete overhaul. It makes me wonder if the game's main concept is still intact. If you've played the original, rest assured that its core remains unchanged in this deluxe remaster. We did our best to respect the direction of the original game. We kept the fundamental gameplay the same while improving upon the user experience. With this, we believe that both veterans and newcomers alike will be able to enjoy a fresh experience. Our goal was to ensure that today's players would experience the same shock players felt when the original game was released. We believe we accomplished this goal with Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. We hope that everyone will give it a try. Unable to get any definitive answers out of director Murai, we gave art director Satoshi Takamatsu the third degree. It turns out he had ambitions of his own for this project. Because the original came out 18 years ago, there were many limitations during development. Thanks to nearly two decades of technological advancements, we were able to accomplish a lot that couldn't be done back then. For example, Resident Evil, Capcom's other zombie franchise, focused on quality over quantity. Dead Rising took a different approach. The goal was to pack as many zombies as possible into that huge shopping mall. This meant each individual zombie wasn't as polished as we would have liked. However, this time around, we were able to focus on quality as well. As the art director, I couldn't be more pleased that to both the main character, Frank, and all of the NPCs. Of course, another critical aspect of Dead Rising that we have to address is the shopping mall setting. In the original game, the Willamette Parkview Mall is made up of several areas, like Entrance Plaza and Paradise Plaza, each with its own unique characteristics. These designs and evolved them even further by adding real-time lighting and shadow effects so that each location takes on a different appearance depending on the time of day. That's how much detail we've put into this project. For character animations, we tried to limit unnecessary changes and use the original data as much as possible, especially during action scenes. We could have made them more realistic with today's tools, but we wanted to preserve the unique and comical movements that made the original Dead Rising so special. Takamatsu was finally giving us the info we were looking for. However, we couldn't stop there. We had to know why this is called a deluxe remaster. To do that, we tracked down the game's producer and managed to get his account. 
I think Dead Rising is a unique game with extremely tight game design, even by today's standards. However, we also knew the original game was released 18 years ago, and that improvements were needed to reach a modern audience. That's why we focused on improving playability, in addition to overhauling the graphics. This game truly deserves the title